Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. So I wanted to cover a subject, uh, actually my tuner Ron Watson has asked me uh, to kind of dive into this because it seems like a lot of people are asking about methanol injection and actually the associated fail safes that are, you know, uh, come with the kit. So I'm going to kind of dive into that. Uh, I had tons of guys sending me messages on, you know, how do you wire the fail safe wire and uh, let me dive into exactly what I'm talking about. Okay guys, basically the, the two wires that are mostly asked from guys on Facebook uh, and some of my friends are the solenoid. And then if you look over here, there's also the boost safe wire, which is green. It's an 18 gauge wire. And then the solenoid, which is a 20 gauge wire and it's brown and white. Um, I have the solenoid hooked up on the car and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it's done. Basically the solenoid is there uh, so you're not dripping methanol when you're in vacuum and things like that or uh, you're parked or something like that. Let's just say you have a siphoning issue where the tank is like higher than the, the injection point. Then yeah, basically the solenoid uh, stops that. It, it only works when there's a signal, basically a ground signal that, that goes to it and that's what basically starts and opens the solenoid so you can get the flow of meth into your uh, intercooler or your boost pipe. The other thing is the boost safe wire, which is basically your fail safe. Any type of error that pops up on this system, which I'm gonna go ahead and cover with you guys real quick. Okay, and yeah, the codes that I am was referring to are these system errors. Uh, basically, your controller will output, and uh, as well as on your little external LED, these number of flashes. This is basically telling you what type of error you have in your system, so you can troubleshoot it. Uh, and make sure that you're not boosting really hard when there's no methanol spraying or you know when you run out of fluid and things like that. So that green wire that I was speaking of earlier, which I'll cover at the car in a bit, but you don't wire that to the electronic boost controller directly. You need one of these. This is a normally open or normally closed relay. Um, you guys usually have this for powering like LEDs, automotive, and things of that nature. Um, but basically it's very simple. That that green wire actually hooks up to, to the white wire here. This goes to a ground. The black wire is a ground. The yellow wire is actually not used for anything. It's usually powering an external source, which we're not gonna be using in this case. However, the other two wires are the red and blue wire. This is actually what's gonna complete your um, circuit to the electronic boost control of solenoid. Uh, basically, you snip the wire, one end goes here, one end goes here, um, and basically it's, it's, it completes a circuit. However, when you get an error, um, it'll basically throw a 0 0.5 volt signal here. It'll close the little magnetic relay here, um, and it'll basically, sh it'll break that uh, circuit. So what happens is uh, then you go to wastegate pressure at your electronic boost control solenoid. And the reason why I chose to go over um, with this method over going with the TGV um, uh, signal is a couple of reasons. The TGV signal right now I'm using a flex fuel kit uh, and it uses that output there. So uh, we actually don't know exactly what's going to happen uh, if you throw an error code over it or if you're breaking that. Um, circuit or whatnot. Um, I was told by Clark Turner that it goes to a pump gas map, but just because uh, you know we didn't want to risk that, and I think the boost cut would be a lot more evident as, as a fail safe, uh, we chose to go with that method. So let me walk you guys over to the car real quick, uh, and then I'll show you guys how I wired those up. Okay, guys, we're back at my car. As you guys know, my controller is mounted here. The harness is really nice from AAM. It actually just connects really easily like this. Um, and as you guys can see, there is that green wire right there. That's the boost safe wire, which goes to the normally open relay that we're gonna have set up. And that relay is gonna be mounted in the engine bay. So um, I'll, co I'll be covering that install in depth, but uh, we're not gonna be doing that today. Um, right now, as you guys can see, I have the green boost safe wire just tucked away right now. So right now the system, if it throws a code, it'll just flash on the uh, error light here, the LED. Uh, it will not do a boost cut. But the theory of the system is uh, this failsafe will do a boost cut to wastegate pressure. 
you know, for us, we chose to go with that method, me and Ron Watson, uh, because it's a little bit, uh, it's a little less elegant. However, at least it'll be more um, apparent that you have an issue with the system. You'll get it checked out and, uh, you know, replace what needs to be replaced. Um, I will cover that brown and white wire, though. And that is actually connected um, up to here. Basically, there are two black wires on the water meth solenoid. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. Um, this is gonna make sure that you are not gonna pull methanol into your, basically your intake system when you don't need it. So like, for example, when you're in vacuum, or if your tank is uh, higher than your injection point, which uh, in my system, it's not. Um, but basically this requires a signal, uh, which is that brown wire. Um, so one of them, so as you guys can see, there's two here. Um, it doesn't really matter which one goes to which, so the continuity doesn't matter. Uh, one of these will go to that brown and white wire for your solenoid, and the other one, the other black wire just goes to a ground. So any chassis ground uh, is basically how I have it. Um, and as you guys can see, my nozzle's right there. So uh, really easy way uh, on doing these on these 2015 plus WRX guys. There's a little clip bracket no joke, that solenoid literally just clips in there and I just have it zip tied so it doesn't pop off or anything like that, but it's been very secure. Um, this way you're not twisting or bending these uh, lines quite so much. Um, and which, you know, a couple of users for the meth injection have reported if you twist the lines really hard, uh, sometimes you get a leak, which that's gonna be no good uh, for us. So yeah, I just wanted to cover that really quick guys. And thank you for checking in on this video. Uh, as soon as I get that wired up with the electronic boost control solenoid down there for the boost safe uh, and the relay, then I will check back in with you guys. But thank you again. Uh, shout out to Ron Watson, Fat Body Tuning. Uh, he's helping me uh, with the whole tuning process of this car. And so far, it's been a beast. So today's the first day with corn, and I'm very, very excited, guys. Thank you again.